Hi, everybody, and welcome to the DRF Breeding Report. I'm Dan Illman, along with Nicole Russo, and in this week's edition of the Breeding Report, we're going to take a look at five main contenders for the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies Turf. Pre-entries will come out on Wednesday. We're going to get a jump on these early contenders. Nicole, Chad Brown, of course, has a very strong hand. We'll begin with Rushing Fall, an undefeated two-for-two, two, already a graded stakes winner. Let's go back to her most recent run at Keelan, because this late kick is electric. Yeah, I, I really think Rushing Fall could contend for favoritism in the juvenile Phillies turf off of this performance. Just really unleashed such a powerful kick. Loved the way she was moving through this stretch. Um, a really ideal pedigree, I think, for this sort of race. More than ready, ticks all the boxes for this division. Outstanding turf sire, outstanding juvenile sire, outstanding Philly sire. Rushing Fall out of a mare by Forestry, who's emerging a little bit as a broodmare sire with the likes of Nyquist to his credit in that category. And she's a half to Milam, a graded place Philly sprinting. Certainly adds a little bit more speed and precocity to that pedigree. I think there are a lot of things to like here, especially since she's already got the win going around two turns. A $320,000 yearling has shown versatility, winning on firm, winning on soft. She likes to come from off the pace. She's going to need some pace in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies turf. Chad also has significant form, and we're going to take a look at significant form's most recent victory at Belmont. She was a maiden going in. Yes, she finished first in her debut but she was disqualified. She is the gray making the front right now. You see Orbolution, who we're also going to talk about, challenge from in between horses. Significant form showed a lot of moxie in the stretch, turning back a couple of challenges. Yeah, she really did. And beating a very nice filly in Orbolution, who, as you mentioned, we'll get to in a minute. Uh, this one from the second crop of Creative Cause. His first runners are, are three year olds right now. And he's got the exciting horse out there, Pavel. Um, he's got Twisted Tom out there who just had another stakes win to his resume. Creative Cause did his work on the main track, but he's by Giants Causeway, of course, a European champion who came over here and ran so well in the Breeders' Cup Classic. Certainly adds some turf ability to that family. And there's some turf on the bottom side of this pedigree as well. This one's a half-sister to Hay Dakota, winner of the Grade 3 Commonwealth Turf. Uh, not maybe an obvious pedigree, but a lot to like in the pedigree. A $75,000 yearling that sold way up $575,000 as an OBS April two-year-old. A lot of pedigree and a little bit more tactical speed than rushing fall. Chad Brown, the two main contenders based in North America. Let's talk about Orbolution, however, who might be lurking a little bit under the radar for Todd Pletcher after finishing third behind rushing fall last time out. This horse just has a gigantic pedigree. Yeah, she really does. Uh, she's from the very well-regarded first crop of Kentucky Derby winner Orb. Before he's even fully proven out, he's had people just clamoring for his offspring at the yearling sales, at the two-year-old sales. That really tells me that people believe in this horse and are willing to make the long-term investment in him. Certainly bodes well for this filly. Orb is by Malibu Moon from the AP and D line. There's hardly any turf there at all, and this one is definitely getting her turf ability from her female family. Her damn My Rachel by the South African bred horse chestnut is graded placed on turf uh my rachel is a half sister to makers mile winner jack milton that's a grade one to another turf performer and peace preserver just a really classy deep female family behind this one and this one has really improved since being stretched out in distance and allowed to race on the turf that's orbolution now let's talk about a couple of horses based overseas for the always dangerous and all world trainer aiden o'brien we'll begin with happily and we're going to go back to october the first to chantilly where this one beats the boys in the pre jean luc lagardere she is in the purple hat she's going to ease to the outside and wear these horses down she is already a multiple group one winner she did beat males last time out yeah, and of course, she's another good one for the international titan, Galileo, as good a turf sire as you'll find. Her dam, uh, you're so thrilling, pretty nice race mare in her own right. She's a full sister to Diane's Causeway, who we just mentioned, that European champion. And she's already the dam of Glen Eagles, 
a full sister to this one to Happily, who's a Group One winner, very good, uh, promising young stallion for Coolmore. Happily is also a full sister to uh, a couple of other nice horses, including Marvelous Group One winner. Just a, a really, really class family. Now, 12 days after winning the Prix Jean Luc Lagardère, Happily was expected to run on the Phillies Mile at Newmarket. She came down with a little bit of a temperature, and one of the Phillies that Happily beat in the Moy Glare Stud Stakes at the Cur on September the 10th. We're going to take a look at the Phillies Mile right now, and here is September in the familiar Coolmore Silks. She is in behind horses, crying out for a seam to run. She won't get clear until very late, but Nicole, once she does get clear, she comes with a powerful late run, and being a daughter of Deep, Imp by, uh, Deep Impact, boy, she's got a lot of upside potential. Very much so. Uh, Deep Impact, another one of those phenomenal international stallions who we don't get the opportunity to see as many of his progeny in this country. Of course, he's one of the several leading sires left behind by the late, great Sunday silence. Uh, this one is out of the European champion Peeping Fawn, herself already a multiple stakes producer, herself a half-sister to the group one winner, The Way You Are. And this is another female family for Coolmore that you can't say enough good things about. It's the family of outstanding broodmares, blushed with pride, and her daughter, Better Than Honor. Of course, best known as the sire of Belmont Stakes winners, Rags to Riches and Jazzle. But a ton of European and turf class in this pedigree as well. This is just a family that can do it all. So there you have it, five to follow for the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies Turf. Pre-entries for the Breeders' Cup World Championships are coming up tomorrow. You're going to want to follow all the Breeders' Cup action, drf.com forward slash BC. You can follow Nicole on social media on Twitter, at DRF Russo. You'll be getting a lot from Nicole next week right here on DRF TV. And for all the latest breeding news and notes, please follow our DRF breeding handle on Twitter, at DRF Breeding. We'll see you next week for the DRF Breeding Report.